Hello everyone. Um, first of all, I want to welcome welcome you all. Um, thank, thanks for being here for our first live event uh, since the creation of the UCI. Uh, it is also our first year anniversary. Um, we've been working for uh, for a, a bit more than that uh, with the, the EU institutions and, and different stakeholders to bring more awareness about crypto, about uh, its use cases, and about open networks. Uh, very happy to be here and to welcome you all um, and do a very short introduction speak, uh, speech with uh, my co-founders, uh, Florian and Marina. Um, so maybe let's jump very quickly into the subject. Uh, it's been quite an eventful year for crypto. Have you you've seen it all? Um, good news, um, good things happening with a lot of very positive technical developments. Uh, there's been uh, the merge uh, of Ethereum. There's been a few uh, very important technical uh, developments uh, on other networks. We've seen the rise of the layer two technologies that bring a lot of promises for uh, high speed, high scale uh, use cases of, of blockchain and crypto. Um, we've seen a lot of regulatory developments, of course, and we'll talk extensively about them today. Um, the Mika regulation almost finished, um, and of course the rest, uh, in the rest of the world, a lot of different initiatives ongoing. Um, so those those are th the good sides of this year. Uh, of course, there's a darker side uh, that you've all seen, and it's important to to mention it too. Uh, the market downturns, uh, the hacks, and very recently, uh, the, the last few months have been quite eventful uh, with the, the Terra Luna situation, uh, with the FTX collapse, uh, and I think all those events. Uh, all together, they, 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 they shape like what the future of crypto will be and, and where we go from here. So I think it's a good time actually to be speaking about the future of crypto. Um, we are not in a period of, uh, um, you know, ex ex expansion where everything seems rosy and everything seems perfect. We're not uh, in a place where uh, doom and gloom, where everyone is depressed. We're in a place where there's been positives and negatives, and from there we can shape the future of, of, of the, the crypto space. Uh, we'll try to be as informative as possible, um, and um, I'm passing the floor to Florian for uh, the next step of this introduction. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, we believe actually we're now meeting at a time where we are confident to say that crypto is actually stronger than ever. I know that may sound counterintuitive after some of the bad news we've heard this year, but if you really follow the evolution of this technology and the evolution of the ecosystem, you can actually come to this conclusion. And some indicators that we see are the evolution of wallet technology that is currently happening, um, in particular wallets that are much more user-friendly uh, for end users that make it much easier to get started with crypto technology in a way how we believe it was actually meant to be used, which is self-custodial or personal wallets. Uh, we see the privacy issue finally being properly addressed uh, through zero knowledge attestations, zero knowledge um, chains, and uh, that whole ecosystem that is becoming more and more usable. Um, we also see the industry stepping up after these disastrous fails of this year and giving itself voluntary norms and guidelines and setting standards by which to adhere in order to be actually a project that is operating in a way that benefits users and the ecosystem overall. So we believe that despite you know the headlines in the media right now, actually right now is the time to look really closely for these innovations that are currently on their way. And we're really, really very uh, encouraged by what we see and how the ecosystem is reacting to these challenges. And so when you ask us what is the future of crypto, we believe the future of crypto is going to be amazing and it's going to be driven by technologies that empower the end user and that empower um, basically this idea of, of a technology 
that um, you know can really scale to a different level where even traditional finance could never go because of trust issues, because of compatibility and standardization issues, and all these things. I think we think crypto is now able to address finally thanks to technological maturity. Marina. Thank you. So the European Crypto Initiative is a European organization. We are very lucky to work within the European Union. And we think that um, Europe actually and crypto, they are in a love affair. So why, why we think that and why this is in a way important for us today is that we have Mika. Um, it's almost finalized and the markets in crypto assets regulation is one of the first regulations in the world that are talking is talking and, and taking into consideration crypto, but most um, importantly, all the consumers. So we're really focused on the consumer protection in Europe. The other thing is that the industry um, is booming. There's a lot of organizations and also what is important, there's a very vibrant community in Europe that is working on uh, those issues. We've seen more than 200 organizations being a part of um, French uh, um, network, etc. for example, just, just one of, of the very vibrant ones. And uh, we see a lot of blue chips coming out of Europe. So the important DeFi projects like Aave, Maker, we have Ledger. There's a lot of them that grew in Europe from uh, different member states. And I think that they were also very early. We had they, we had they have learned a lot in all these years and we are here to support this innovation. Uh, at the end, what we think is very important is that crypto is built on European values. Crypto is something that is really grown bottom up and it's something that empowers individuals. Uh, the individuals can build applications, can build tech in a way that can serve the humanity in also in an open way. So um, crypto is a lot about open innovation, open technology and um, I would say that the focus is really to serve the humanity. Uh, at the same time, we have seen a lot of innovation happening in Europe, so it's very pro-innovation. We discussed many times with our colleagues that one of the smartest minds are coming to a crypto if they're still not here yet. So we, he we see a lot of our colleagues coming uh, and, and trying to innovate in Europe, and I think this is a very positive aspect. So the European Crypto Initiative, Simon, Florian, and I are very happy that you're here. Thank you for coming. And we are also very pleased to have the opportunity to build these places uh, where discussion can be made between industry and regulators in a very, I would say, content-driven manner and in a very positive, um, positive dialogue. And I think this is the only way how to go forward. So thank you so much for coming and uh, we're introducing the first panel. <laughs>